Holy shit. Gwen, you're joined. Oh, yes. You can, you're actually going to let me uh, choose. That'll work. She actually almost caught up to Guinevere's level, which really isn't saying much because Guinevere wasn't oh, all that fantastic. Oh, I forgot that she can do that. Uh... Here, let's do that. Let's go. Oh. Here we go. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Ah, fuck it. We'll do it. Yeah, those 328. It's not terrible. I need to... Yeah, let's do it. 300 each. It's not terrible. Oh, God. Eh. Eh. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Where's the mid potion? There it is. Give it to her. You're welcome. There we go. A little bit better. They're just standing there over there. You see that shit? They're just sitting there chilling. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, dream shatter. Fusion and stun, not too bad. All right, we need to. There we go. Good thing he can heal. Stone slash, blunt blow. Eyes paralyzed. Thank you. Cleave. Oh, this is numb nuts here. Yeah. That's fucking, yeah, that's fine. Here, there we go. Uh, dream shatter. Here, we'll do that. Fuck it. Ooh, that second one was a nice little crit. Here you go, strike, blunt blow. Oh, I totally forgot. Fuck. Forgot that that does that. Dream shatter. Stun nullified. Fuck. All right. Actually, what I'm going to need to do is start restoring her uh, magic here. Here, let's just, uh, let's just do this. See how quick we can stock up here. There we go. That status boost, evasion rate up. Meh. Uh-oh, he's... Uh, here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, that nullified shit. Fuck. He's not. Uh, he's not taking it. All right. Whoa! Shit! I didn't realize he could do that. All right. Well, we're gonna mid potion her then. You're welcome. Actually, do dream shatter again, please. Damn it. He's not having it. All I can do is try. Yeah, he's not having any of it. Blade wave. Not bad. Hey, he does 200 on his own. Hi. Whoa, what is going on? Whoa, you're killing my frames. Oh, no. Yep. He is confused. Blade wave. Hmm. Here. Hi. There we go. Are you dead yet? Okay, great. Oh man, he heals so much. God damn it. This is gonna be annoying. Yeah, 
he heals so goddamn much. I don't I don't know how to get rid of that. I don't Oh, he's paralyzed. Well, at least there's some good out of this. Let's reduce attack. That actually wouldn't be too bad. I need to heal her up again already. Well, mana. Well, actually, I, she kind of needs health, too. Oh. Here, do this. Mother. <laughs> I, don't, I can't do enough damage to him at one time. I don't know what to do. He's just gonna keep healing. I have nothing to, uh... Who is this? Who do I do this with? Oh, it shows in the lower right hand corner. Well, let's just wait here. Hold on, we're gonna do... Can you please? Thank you. I didn't Didn't do any steps Oh hey what's this Fluxation occurs more easily I don't know I didn't read all that Here there we go hmm. I don't know what to do Like I can't hurt him fast Fast enough to get rid of his healing I wish I could do like a haste too and just haste everybody. It's not doing shit. Okay, so HP recovery happens every time then, so. Alright. Uh. Warren. Let's take a turn to. Heal up our mana. Oh, I think he's done taking Restore, so we should be okay. God damn it. Well, that sucks. Haste on yourself, sweetheart. And uh, we are going to go ahead and... There. Cast Ether on ourself. Try Dream Shatter. He's confused, so I guess that's not too bad. Here, Blump Blow. That'll heal her up. Stat Nullified. Here. No, I want Cleave. Thank you. God, man, this is taking forever. Stun nullified. Wait, what? Okay, well. We got a simple stuff for that. That'll work. Oh my god, please. Fucking die. Stun nullified. Oh, I think that's because he, uh, Actually, is stunned right now. I wish I could fucking kill this thing. It's getting taken too fucking long. Too long. Can you feel it? Too long. Alright. All attacks cause and all just match the highest resistance. We had two of those in one single battle. Like, come on now. Oh, I need his, uh, there we go. There. Oh, and he's paralyzed. Good. I forgot he doesn't have any. It's all right. Oh, wow. Everybody's, uh, all right. Hmm. God damn it. 
Oh, yeah, he doesn't have. Okay. Well, that's alright. Time resistance down. I don't know what the hell that does. X strike. You please. Oh, thank you, God. Jesus. I didn't even level up from that shit. Oh, come on. Ooh, SP up. Not too bad. I'll take it. Yeah, fix the camera, please. So what exactly is going on? Come on, you got some explaining to do. Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Oren, stop. Guinevere isn't our enemy. How sure about that are you exactly? What do you think, Goose? <laughs> Why did you disappear? Well, that took me by surprise too. But I can't tell you why it happened yet. For your sakes and for my own. God damn it. You really expect us, expect us to trust you after a half cocked answer like that? Half cock answer, Guinevere? Something you're not telling us? Of course, Satsuna trusts. Satsuna trusts everybody. She trusts fucking monsters. She trusts her fucking, the kid down the street who just stole lunch money from her other kid. You know, it's fine. Trust them. Trust them all. It's fine. Welcome back, one of you. Satsuna. I swear that I'll take you to the last lands. I swear, no matter what happens. <laughs> I'll take you there, all right. <laughs> you ain't gonna like it. I know. I've known all along. Phew. Well, this whole thing sure is a big mystery, but you ain't lying. I can tell that much. So can Goose. I've trusted you all along anyway. Thank you, everyone. I don't know if I want Guinevere in my party anymore. <laughs> it's because uh, that was that was painful. I heard you were here for, from one of the nights. Thank goodness. I wish I had like a dispel spell. That fucking recovery shit was bullshit. Thank you so much. I have not been outside in a long time. Oh, Lilis. Oh, you're Wak Wakala's childhood friend, ain't you? That's right. You take care of most of the monsters in your here. You should have to live in. You shouldn't have to live in fear anymore. Holy cow! Excuse me. For the moment, at least, and we'll find Wakala too. I promise. Thank you. I'm counting on you. I had an acid burp, so I drink some water. By the way, your ancestors must have had something to do with the royal family too, right? Well, sort of, but. There's something we want to ask you then. Uh, what do you know about airships? Uh, tell us about the Royal Crest. That would probably be a better choice. The Royal Crest. I do not know much about it, but I have heard that long ago the Crest possessed a sacred power. There's some ruins that have the Crest engraved at their entrance. Do you know how we can get inside? I have heard, I have heard tell of a hidden place that is somehow connected to the royal family. Do you know how to get inside? That I do. It is spoken of in legends passed down in our village. You know, the ones that the kids were probably singing. However, I do not think it'll be possible now. Why not? Because the seal on the gate can only be opened by one with royal blood. Royal blood, eh? We need Wakala. What happened to her anyways? You said something about finding her. After you disappeared, she went off somewhere too. Anyway, looks like we're not getting anywhere until we find her. Wakala, where are you? How are we going to go on, go about looking for her? We don't have the slightest idea where to start. Let's just go and check on those children again instead. I feel sorry for them being stuck inside all this time. You've grown up a lot since I last saw you, Titus. It was like 10 minutes. Huh? You think? I don't think I'm any different. I agree with Titus. Come on, let's head back to where those children were. I agree with Titus. He hasn't changed much at all. He's the same immature little brat since we started. Okay, so Guinevere, I hate to say it, but um, we no longer need your services. I can actually deal without the haste. For now. Uh, actually, let's see what spells Setsuna has. Sixty final comeback. 
Spire. What is this? Oh, yeah, I put that under because fuck it, I guess. Yeah, we already got it. Say, I don't think there's anything else that she. Sanctity. I kind of want to see. I can change the name. What? Why? Damage to all enemies. Throw shock rooms. Now I gotta actually type something in because I'm kind of forced to. Penile move. How about that? Confirm. Yes. Penile move. It's a dick move. Penile move. I want to see combo. I wish I knew who what caused last letter Shant Shant Shantou Francais. Whatever. This game. Uh, hmm. Well, first, what I want to do before we go see those kids. Actually, I can't really curse them out too much. They're they're good kids. They didn't ask for that life. Let's heal up real quick. Save. Do all that happy fun stuff. Oh yeah. So, uh, Batman. Second episode of Batman should be up. Actually, I'm supposed to download it. I had to download it tonight and then record it eventually. Uh, so the kids were in this house. Look, it's the princess's friends. Is the princess back yet? I'm afraid not. Not yet. Oh, oh well, we'll just wait here and sing. Princess taught us this song, you know. Oh, Wakala did, did she? That's right. The princess is great at singing. She doesn't really look... Who the hell am I to judge? I guess I shouldn't judge by looks. Will you sing it for me then? Sure. One, two, three. It was really nice. Snow, snow, oh tell me snow. The bird in the valley, when will she fly? Oh, to return to the royal gate, oh to soar over the sky. Why is she saying it over? Snow, snow, falling snow, oh to return to that time. This song. There's something about it. Yeah, I agree. Something about it, which part? All of it. Oh, to soar over the sky. Yeah, you could interpret that line as being symbolic, like thoughts flying back home across the skies. But maybe it's really talking about a way to actually fly back. I do get the feeling that song has something to do with all this. But even if it does, I don't see how us analyzing a child's rhyme is going to help anything. Let's ask the aspiring researcher. Can't ask Wakaluk, she's not here. Yeah, that's right, there might be some sort of record of it in an old document or something. The more information we have about the Royal Valley, the better. Let's go pay the aspiring researcher a visit. I gotta admit, the music is very well done in this game. I figured I'd be quiet during that, so... Try and be a little respectful frames. 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 Thank you. So let's go to this guy. Can you play that song again? That was actually kind of nice. It's nice to just sit here and just appreciate the music. 
Excuse me, we want to ask you about a nursery rhyme. A nursery rhyme? Oh, that one the children always sing, you mean. The song's lyrics are said to show its writer's nostalgia for the royal capital. Their desire to one day fly across the sky and return there. So it isn't just about a bird after all. Well, no. But even if that's the case, flying back across the sky is impossible for humans. Yeah, so it's a sad song because it is impossible. See, you're very perceptive, Orin. I like you. That's why you're always in my party. So it's like they at least want their thoughts to return to their homeland. Exactly. But the words of the song, the bird in the valley, when will she fly? Don't you think it's like there's a sense of hope behind those words? A sense of waiting for something? The bird is a metaphor? Or there's one other thing that can fly? I'll just go with it's a metaphor. I don't know. Metaphor for something else that flies in me? Like an airship? It's certainly not impossible. Why do they always say that? It's like a double negative. Legend has it that back at the time of the kingdom's fall, by chance the queen and a select few of her retainers were away on the royal airship and thus survived. You don't think they could have hidden the airship in the ruins inside Magna Valley, do you? Maybe so that they wouldn't be pursued by the foe who destroyed their kingdom. So what do you think? There's no way of saying for certain. But personally, I'd say there's definitely a very good possibility that's the case. Excuse me. So there isn't just Spear Knight in the ruins. There's a whole dang ship. Well, he pretty much took the words out of my mouth from that. And a royal one, too. Akash blows top if he heard this. All I'm saying is that it's possible. I've known that nursery arm since I was a little boy, so it never occurred to me before. And of course, until the spatial distortions disappeared, we weren't able to even get to Magna Valley. So we need to find Wakala and get inside the ruins. Then once we find the Royal Airship, then we'll be able to cross Vanish Land. All right, things are looking up. But it was Wakala who chose to stay away from us and in the state she was in. I'll make her do what I say. Okay, I know I'm a dickhead, but that's just, that's just, that's arrogance. Too far. Yes, I think so, too. Either way, we need to find Wakala. She's one of us, and she means the world to all the people of the village, too. <sighs> so first, we need to find her. Right, we can't do anything else until we do. Come on, let's go and look for Wakala. On the way, we can go tell the old man Akash about the royal airship. Oh, great. Oh, there's Akash. Akash and all the knights. Ah, you're here. What happened? Looks like some of your knights are injured. Ah, uh, we've been to hell and back, and all because of that Wakala, she... Sir, kindly hold your tongue. What happened? I apologize, but this is a matter of the knighthood must deal with by, by itself. I take it something happened to Wakala, right? That pause was more than enough. Please tell us, we might be able to help. With the spatial distortions gone, we were on guard against monsters invading from other regions. I led our troops into Magna Valley. It was there that we found Lady Wakala. She's going to the ship. Or what remains of her. Wait, what? Is Wakala safe? No, I'm afraid she's not what you'd call safe. Her Highness is no longer Her Highness. Upon noticing us, she rose to her feet and attacked us. Cloaked in a sinister aura, she seemed more monster than human. Wakala. And so, left with no other alternative, we used a restraining spell to contain her there. However, its, fact, its effect shall not last long. Her Highness, Lady Wakala, is in great pain. Her incredible magical energy has something to do with what's happening to her, doesn't it? Tell us what's going on. But I... Wakala is one of us now. She's in pain. We want to help her. We've already done everything that we can. Very well, I shall tell you. Most likely it's due to the blood of a monster. Huh? Lady Wakala consumed the blood of a monster. What? Why? Isn't monster blood highly poisonous? Indeed it is. Most humans would die instantly if they consumed it. But in some rare cases, there are those of whom it instead grants great power and life force. Her Highness is one such example. It's because, because of her royal blood, too. That she's able to actually survive, I'm guessing. 
Long time ago, when out slaying monsters, Her Highness was left stranded by an avalanche. We heard it was to rescue a knight who didn't get away in time, right? Indeed. Her Highness was left teetering on the very edge of life and death. In order to survive, she had no choice but to consume the blood of a monster. It's because of her fierce will, her undying determination to see her kingdom restored. Yeah, alright, we get the picture. So it's the effect of the monster blood. That's what's given her that superhuman magical energy. Her Highness survived and returned to the village. We all rejoiced, of course. However, in exchange for that incredible magical energy, the monster blood began to transform her into a monster herself. Her Highness's mental state has become progressively worse. On occasion, her mental distortions cause her to show extreme cruelty and ruthlessness. I fear Her Highness may never return to her former self. And so, I have prepared myself to die together with her. I shall continue my service to her in the afterlife. No one's dying just yet, old man. Right now, we need to help Wakala. Don't worry, we'll get Wakala back to her old self. When I think of Her Highness's pain, I... I... That sucks. Seeing as you told him we were going to save her, I take it you've got some sort of plan? Come on, what else could I say given the circumstances? Exactly. Anyway, we need to get Wakala back to normal no matter what. If we don't, we won't be able to enter the ruins. But if her transformation has already progressed this far, will there really be any way we can cure her? Ah, let's just kill her. Fuck it. Find someone to cure her. Looks like we ain't got no other choice. It's easy enough to say that, but finding someone isn't going to be that simple. Treating a human who's turning into a monster isn't something just anyone can do, is it? What we need to do is find someone who can cure Wakala. Again, easier said than done. We don't know anyone who's good at that sort of thing, do we? Yeah, we do. We know just the person. Someone who specializes in healing magic. Uh, Sayagi. That's right. Sayagi did call herself a healer, after all. Sherry cured Wakala once, too. Sayagi did help cure Wakala before. Maybe it's worth talking to her. Come on, let's go back to Gatherington. God damn this game. This backtracking bullshit. Sorry, that's one thing that I'm not crazy about is freaking shit like that having to backtrack I don't like backtracking not that much anyways because we're pretty much going all across the map again so characters 86% complete monsters man we didn't even get half spirit no well I think that's just completion on how how much we have location 70% so we're we're getting pretty close to done so that's going to do it for now. Uh, when we come back, we're going to go ahead and head back to wherever that place is. And uh, I'm sure by the end of next session, we'll have to fight Wakala. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like in case you did. And I will see you all in the next video.